Okay, uh, good afternoon. Um, as you all know, uh, the primary purpose of today's meeting was uh, the transfer of the Denver Broncos. I um, want to congratulate uh, Rob, Kerry, and Greg. I think they're in that order behind me. Um, they uh, had a unanimous support from the membership. Um, I commented, and uh, many others did, about uh, the cooperation and the smoothness of this process, which um, I think is a credit to all of them. And of course, um, to Joe Ellis and the trustees, uh, to the Bolin family, uh, who I'd like to speak a little bit more about. And um, I think the advisors that everyone had really helped it along the way. But um, this is the uh, first, uh, I guess, the fifth ownership in the 62-year history of the Broncos. But um, the Broncos were owned by the, the Bolin family, and Pat in particular and his brothers uh, for a very long period of time. And uh, he made extraordinary contributions to the league. Uh, many of us talked about it in the room. Um, uh, he was not just a Hall of Famer, but he was a friend and someone who cared deeply about the league, uh, the Broncos, the Denver community. And um, we're gonna miss him along the way, but, and his family, but we wanna thank them for all that they've done for the National Football League. Uh, they've been extraordinary partners. Uh, but we're also very excited about the new partners. Um, th this is a group that um, is going to, to be great for the Denver community, um, their commitment to winning, but more importantly, their commitment to making sure the Broncos franchise is uh, an important part of the Denver community. So uh, we're thrilled about that. One last comment before I do hand it off. Uh, I do want to thank Joe Ellis and the trustees um, for their incredible work. Um, Sometimes a difficult road, but the, the leadership um, that they have shown over the last several years under difficult circumstances and many times uh, has been really uh, remarkable. That's something that we appreciate as a league, and uh, I know that the Denver community does also. So thank you to them. So, Rob, I'll hand it off to you. Congratulations. Thank you. You bet. Thank you, everybody. It's great to see you today, and I'd like to thank Roger uh, Goodall, uh, Commissioner Goodall, the, uh, and uh, we're just so excited to become officially a part of the Broncos. It's a big, big day for us, really, really exciting. It's been a great process, and I want to extend the thanks to all the owners that we've been involved with. Their warm greeting and support as we've met them along the way, and we haven't met all of them yet, but we're getting close, uh, has just been uh, good. It's a real, uh, a very uh, wonderful group to be become associated with. We want to acknowledge Pat Boland's uh, outstanding legacy also, as well as the family. Pat's leadership and commitment to build a successful team and business, and we'll continue to build on that. Putting a winning team on the field is our number one priority. We can't wait to get to Denver, join our new colleagues, and get to work. I'm pleased to be here with my daughter, Carrie, my son-in-law, Greg. Uh, working together as a family is going to be great fun on this project. It's a good business, but it's a fun business, and we're going to enjoy it. Uh, mostly, we're just honored to steward this uh, historic franchise, and we appreciate uh, Appreciate the opportunity. Carrie? Yeah. Thank you, Dad. Uh, good afternoon. It's great to be here. Um, this is an incredible day for our family, and uh, we look forward to getting back to Denver tomorrow to start day one on the ground. Um, every step of this process has been fantastic. It's made us more excited each step of the way to become a part of the NFL, but also especially part of the Denver Broncos and the Denver community. Like my dad said, we're excited to put a winning team on the field. We also know it's important to excel off the field as well, both in our community and across the, the league. That's true for our incredible group of leaders that we're fortunate to count as members of the ownership group. Melody Hobson, Condoleezza Rice, as well as Lewis Hamilton. They'll be with us tomorrow. We're committed to making sure the Denver Broncos are the best team to play for, to work for, and to cheer for. And we can't wait to get back tomorrow and uh, get this started. Thank you.
Thank you, Kerry. Well, uh, we could not be more excited to officially take ownership and lead the Broncos. Uh, as my good friend and former 49er Harris Barton said to me last week, this will be one of the most fun and satisfying things that you do in your life. It's also a responsibility and a privilege. Uh, the Broncos are an iconic franchise that means uh, a lot to Colorado and the whole Rocky Mountain region. We have enormous respect for Pat Bolin and what he meant both to the Broncos uh, and the NFL. We also appreciate Joe Ellis's guidance through this process and are grateful that he's agreed to stay on as, and serve as an advisor for the coming season. Uh, thank you, Joe. We know our fans' expectations are high and we embrace that. We're really anxious to get started and we want to compete and we want to win. Thank you to all the, NFL owner, all the NFL owners today for their vote of confidence. And um, we just, again, couldn't be more excited to be here, get back to Denver, and get started. Uh, with that, we'll open it up and take a few questions. Hi, Rob. Ryan O'Halloran from the Denver Post. Uh, two parts for you. What made this the right fit for you and your family to get involved with a sports franchise? And I have a follow-up after that. Okay. The, uh, the Broncos are the one, one sports franchise that we would have considered uh, buying. And it's just, uh, well, Greg actually, as he mentioned, started uh, conversations uh, 10 years, some 10 years ago about it. Uh, then things, uh, the team actually announced uh, it was for sale uh, early this year, and we, uh, we got in the middle of it first thing. We'd been talking about it, and uh, we have connections. They, Greg and Kerry live in Colorado. I've been going to Colorado. I have a home there for a long, long time, other family members there. So great connection for us. We're really excited about it, and it's just a terrific team, terrific fan base. As a follow-up, you added three limited partners. What was intriguing about their business experience, their backgrounds to join your team? Yeah, as we, uh, as we started uh, thinking about partners, we wanted to get people with tremendous capacity. We think the diversity is important. We think diverse organizations are more successful organizations, and we're looking forward to working with them. Uh, they're off traveling and doing other things right now, but we'll all be together, except Lewis, who's got a, in the middle of a, season, but uh, the rest of us will be together tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, for either the Penners or Mr. Walton, I know you guys have uh, toured Empower Field at Mile High. What do you think of the facility there, and are you considering building a new stadium soon? Well, uh, today is really about the first uh, step in uh, ownership and, and premature to start talking about a new stadium. Uh, I'll say that Empire Field at Mile High is a world-class facility. It's hosted, obviously, football games, uh, terrific other sporting events and, and entertainment events. Uh, we've got a, a good partnership with the Metropolitan Football Stadium District and fortunately have almost 10 years left on our lease. So um, we'll evaluate all of our options and, and really you know, dig in and, and understand the situation before making, making any decision. James Palmer with NFL Network. Uh, you guys know, obviously, very well that you're taking over for a Hall of Fame owner in, in, in Pat Bowen and what he did to make this uh, a winning franchise. You saw all that when you were going over this process. Now, when you take an early look, what improvements kind of right away or, or changes that you're looking at that, that puts your imprint on it early on? Do you have anything already there in thought? You want to take that? Um, Pat Bolin created an incredible legacy in the Brown in the Broncos, and he um, leaves big shoes to fill. Um, we look forward to continuing to build on that legacy, and um, as we continue to work with the community as well as within the organization to continue to strengthen what he created. Uh, we'll be doing that. As we have changes that we're making, we'll make sure to let you all know, but uh, right now we're just focused on getting back to Denver tomorrow and getting started with this, so thank you. Uh, Rob Edwarder, right over here to your left with ESPN. Uh, my, my question is, uh, in this record transaction, you inherit uh, a first-year general manager uh, in George Payton and a first-time head coach in the NFL in Nathaniel Hackett. Uh, what's your confidence level in them, and how do you evaluate them going forward? Well, we couldn't be happier with, uh, with uh, both the coach and our general manager 
Uh, as, as we looked at this from the early days, we thought we might get here without a coach and without a quarterback and a, a new general manager. And uh, Joe Ellis and the trustees and uh, George uh, came up with an outstanding coach, I think, uh, and Nathaniel. And, uh, uh, you know, they'll have to perform, but we think we got the pieces for, to really fit together and, and have a great season. We're, we're very excited. Uh, just for each of you or any of you, can you elaborate on, did you discuss it with Pat Boland 10 years ago, or how did you, how did that come about? No, we didn't. Uh, unfortunately, when we started some conversations here, it was when his health was, uh, he was ailing, and so um, he actually, at that time, wasn't in the public that much, so uh, we did not have conversations with Pat. Would have, you know... It, now looking back, of course, we would have loved to have had uh, that interaction with him because um, we've heard so much about him and the impact that he's had. Oh, these were just informal conversations, yeah, going back. Yeah, thank you.